What's up guys? Beautiful sunny Sunday in Ohio. It's about 6 p.m. Um, gonna go on a hike in one of my favorite semi-local spots, about a 40 minute drive. Figure it'd be a good day to start the vlog, so let's go. And we made it. It's a nice busy night out here. Everybody's hanging out. There's like a big open field. Um, there's like a pavilion. And then there's an overlook, which is like the main attraction, especially at sunset. Um, but me, I go for the rocks. And you'll see why here in a couple minutes, duck under this tree. Uh, the rocks here are fucking, they're sweet. So I first found this place five years ago. Me and my little brother came hiking here and, uh, took a bunch of awesome photos and stuff and since then it's been one of those things I just come here whenever I'm feeling a hike need to de-stress a little bit and just do something you know 40 minutes to drive isn't that that bad and it's very nice and scenic we're coming up on Icebox Cave right now which when you get down into it, it literally drops like 15 or 20 degrees real quick. They have it closed off in the back for the, the bats and stuff. People are messing with them too much. So this is where they have it barred off. And right here, it literally drops like 15 degrees immediately. Some nice big rocks. It's like heaven for me. All right, this is gonna be a tight squeeze because I'm a big person. But this is my this is my favorite part in the whole park. Sounds like there's people in here. It opens up. Uh, just fell into this like tunnel. Walk back through it this way. There's tons of like moss. There's some like faces carved into the wall. Just a real cool tunnel, just kind of tucked away. And then right after the tunnel, come down into this big open area. This is where all the big rocks are. A little bit slick. Didn't film too much of that area. Um, it's a shame because it's one of the coolest parts. But those people had a hammock set up and they were just chilling. And I didn't want them to think that you know, I was filming them or anything like that. Kind of respecting their privacy. So we'll keep moving on. There's still other cool shit to see. I just freaking love rocks. Like, they're so cool. Like this one right here. This is one of the ones that I got uh, some sick photos on the first time I was here. Like, that's just a cool ass rock. And no matter how many times I see them, it never gets old. Like, I could come here all the time. It's not a mountain, but, you know, in Ohio, this is, 
This is damn good. Good a spot as any to sit down and have a drink. These things are fucking awesome. No, I'm not sponsored, but it's like a nice sour lemonade. They're great. Cheers. Those are so good. I hit a busy section there for a minute. Couldn't film anything, there was a bunch of people. And I feel weird filming people. So we missed some cool rocks, but that's okay. We got some more coming up. I'm just enjoying the beautiful day. And then every time I come here, I try to hit, after I do this loop, I do this loop first. And then I try to hit a, uh, a new segment that I haven't hit before and kind of add to my map every time I'm here. So pretty back in here with the sun shining through the trees. Ooh, we got some big rocks right here. Look at those. Fucking huge. Getting close, look at these textures. Look at that. All the way down. We're nearing the overlook, which would be, you know, up above us. Probably in like, I don't know, 100 yards, 200 yards, something like that. I just love the textures on these ones.
you can hear people screaming playing in the field so that'll probably be the end of filming in this part until I branch off and go explore the new territory for the day this is where I usually well not usually where last time I went down and to the left so this time we're gonna go straight so right up here that's the path leads down to a staircase I'm gonna zoom in real quick a bridge then you go across the street over to Kendall Lake so we are on Pine Grove Trail. And we're gonna keep going this way and see what happens. I gotta say, I'm really digging this phone too. Uh, this is the S22 Ultra. Before that, I had the S9 Plus. So it's been four years since I got a new phone. And I like having the wide angle lens. It's huge, like a game changer. And then uh, the battery life is insane. Like I've been filming pretty much this whole entire hike, which has been about an hour so far. Probably be an hour and a half, two hours by the time I'm done. And I've used like 10% of my battery. Whereas usually when I go hiking, you know, I take a lot of pictures, but every now and then I'll do like a, a video, like a little quick shot of something, like a mountain panorama or something. And I blast through my battery, like 60 seconds of video on that phone by the time you know, it was towards the end of its life. It'd take, I don't know, 10, 15% of my battery. Whereas this, you know, like I said, I've been filming the whole time and I've barely used any. So it's, it's huge. This is going to be great for what I want because lugging a phone around is a lot easier than, you know, a regular camera with a big lens on it and stuff like that. I try to keep, I'm not like a ultralight hiker, but I try to keep things light and minimal. It makes things easier for me. Let's see, do I go to Camp Butler and Camp Montauk, or do I continue on Pine Grove Trail? If I do Pine Grove, I can complete the loop, and I can save this for next time. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll complete the loop, finish off this part of my map, and then go to the camps next time because this will definitely not be the only time I come here this summer All right, so the sun's starting to go down, and I'm still kind of far from the overlook. So I think we're going to end the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to try to do these regularly, um, kind of like adventure vlogs, stuff like that. Start reviewing gear that I've had for a few years, because I like to actually use my stuff a bunch before I leave a review on it, not just unbox it and give my you know initial thoughts and stuff like that so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will catch you in the next one thanks